right an attempt is being made i need to put some lip balm on i don't have any lip balm i do have sort of lip balm it's the mac prep and prime it's basically a lip balm that they put in mac packaging and charged you like 16 pounds for it all right hi welcome to the apocalypse etc um and some dogs that are providing the soundtrack to my apocalypse not quite the mad max fury road image i had in my head but there we go um lots of people are kind of still doing chatty get ready with me nonsense frivolity type videos so i and i want to do that too basically um i want to have some connection with the outside world and that means you so let's go i've got things to play with i'm going to chat a bit about i wanted to chat a bit about my studying and specifically my study with the open university so i am gonna get going so yeah i'm hoping to well i've already filmed a video but i'm not very happy with it about um studying from home like tips for studying from home i might end up re doing it um but basically i've studied from home or studied independently like kind of teaching yourself from textbooks or whatever um for quite a long time for like the best part of a decade i would say because when i was um in sixth form and like gcse's in sixth form i was hardly ever in school because i was ill all the time basically i already was pretty confident like all my revision for my GCSEs and A-levels I did like on my own some of the classes I've never really been to um, but I had the textbook and the teachers were like you need to learn A, B and C and I did and like I did fine um probably not like it wasn't I didn't enjoy it I did not enjoy it at school but now um I do enjoy staying from home and it has meant that now I can like confidently do that um I'm gonna use um my Anastasia Beverly Hills prism palette in the box because I hate the feeling of velvet so I keep them all in the box it's a really it is a nice palette I do really like it but it's not like as user friendly as say the modern renaissance or any other palettes that I have anyway what was I saying when I was studying yeah so I went um I applied for the Open University in 2014 and with I don't I assume it's the same now so you don't need um like UCAS points or anything for the open university it's kind of like if you think you can do it then let's have a go I'm gonna go completely crazy and take this huge lime green um like yellow shade called sphere I applied for the um English I don't know if it was English literature and language or English literature and creative writing or something like that it was English basically because that's what I've done um in my GCSEs and I dropped out at um a level of english that's a story for another day but um like i was like oh that's you know what i'm good at that'll be fine and for my first year this is actually a really nice color like it's not nearly as let me zoom it in a little bit like it's a little bit more user friendly and like less scary than it looks in the pattern anyway so i applied for the english literature and the way it works for the, a lot of the arts and humanities um courses with the open university is that your first module is what's called interdisciplinary so we studied um chapters that were like to do with history to do with poetry to do with um politics to do with i can't even remember now a lot of other stuff like you do um you study some plays but the first one of the first things you study in that course is Cleopatra and poems about Cleopatra um that were written like at the time she was around and then like after her death and then you we studied them in terms of like what does this say about how the Romans viewed Cleopatra in the context of like the Roman Empire and civil conflict within the Roman Empire and anyway, it was really interesting and I was really interested specifically in learning about Cleopatra I didn't really care much for the poetry part and I still wouldn't but um i enjoyed that so i was like okay let's carry on as i am and my best friend was studying i think she would have been like halfway through her degree at the time and she was studying history um at like a campus university and i remember talking to her and being like oh i'm really enjoying the history um aspect of it and i'd gone on holiday in the spring summer of 2015 um and the 
villa like we like stayed in had a load of the philippa gregory books um and she wrote the other berlin girl but these ones were on the wars of the roses so just before the tudors and like it was kind of that whole oh yeah just like some trashy novel that i can read um while i'm on holiday but it was really good and i really enjoyed it and i was like looking up all about the wars of the roses and thinking i didn't know any about you know about any of this stuff like it's really interesting and it kind of got to the point where i was like i'm obviously more interested in the history side so i spoke to her, um, my best friend who i talked about lauren and she was like, you should absolutely switch to history. Like, I think you'd really enjoy it. You know, I can help you if you're struggling with any of it. God, this is yellow, isn't it? This is motherfucking yellow. I was going to put Lucid, that one, just all over my lid. And I might still do that and then kind of deepen out the crease a bit. Or maybe, should I deepen out the crease now? I don't know. No, I'm going to go with the sparkly. Anyway, so yeah, I spoke to Lauren. Oh, that is nice, isn't it? It's like white, green this um i spoke to her and was like you know do you think i should do this do you think i could and she was like you, you know you'll be great at it. you'd love it um and also if you, you don't love it if you are not good at it you can always switch back because you're still on those interdisciplinary interdiscipline the modules that did all the subjects you know what i mean and that was in 2015 2016 somewhere i officially like switched my modules or switched my overall course and it's kind of the rest as they say is history <laughs> get it i'm now on the last module of my undergraduate degree and applying for master's courses master's study whatever postgraduate um at the moment and the other kind of weird coincidence of my life is that one of my other best friends lives um in scotland like grew up there um and she moved to edinburgh for work a couple of years ago and said like i would go and visit her and we'd do like loads of touristy things and we used to go to harvey nicks um to go to the fenty stand because they didn't have it anywhere else so i couldn't get it where i live um because everyone's too far away so when i went to visit her i would always have like a pilgrimage to um the harvey nicks in edinburgh but we did like tourist stuff you know we went to edinburgh castle we went to lilithgow palace and you know just general touristy stuff that you do when you're on holiday and when I was choosing my final module, I didn't really, I, I originally, because of that interest in Cleopatra, I was like, oh, I'm gonna end up doing classics. So doing like ancient Rome or ancient Greece. I wasn't super interested in those modules because they were really, really heavily focused on literature. And like, I do, I like reading, I like literature, but I am more about like the people and the events and things that happened rather than just reading about like plays and stuff. So the only other option, like if I didn't want to do classics and the other one was like World War One, World War Two, and that's far too modern for me. I really enjoy the late medieval and early modern era. So the other module that was left was Scottish history. And I was like, well, I really enjoyed doing all of the touristy things. So maybe this is the one for me. So now I'm looking at, you know, a university in Scotland and possibly specialising in Scottish history. One thing I'm really interested in is um, women in late medieval Scotland um, and like their legal rights and how they could hold property sometimes and how that compares to women of the same time in England and France. So yeah, it's kind of, it's definitely one of those things where like some weird coincidence, you know, however you want to look at it, it, the world came together to push me onto those um, like new directions, I guess. What about there, band in glee? I don't know. Right, I am going to use, I haven't got like, mm -mm. I might have a dark yellow in the subculture palette, but I don't really want to use another palette. I think I'm going to put Parallel, which is a dark brown, that one in the crease, but really carefully because I don't want it to like overtake. I just want it a bit darker around um here i suppose i could use the orange yeah use the orange fool satin that one my nails are really short at the moment because it's more hygienic so i am keeping them super short ah yes that's what we wanted ish it'll do i do like yellow i've just ordered the urban decay honey palette even though i was like oh once i get four youtube videos up on the website you can reward like i will reward myself with um an eyeshadow palette and i was looking at actually the um anastasia jackie one and i was like that's the one you'll get and then i got an email from urban decay like i think it was a mother's day sale or something and it was like um 30 off our best sellers um it didn't have the honey one 
in the email but I was, you could tell I was going to buy something because I clicked on it. If I hadn't wanted to buy anything I wouldn't have bloody clicked. But I clicked and the Urban Decay, the Honey one was on sale so I was like I'm having that. So we will see what it's like. So that's kind of like my open university story and it has been like pure drama. I've had like I started my degree in 2014 as I said and like from 2015 like my life just was chaos all the time constantly so for more of my degree than not I've been living in what feels like the pit of hell occasionally but there you go somehow I managed to get through it like it is a miracle but I've had really good like friends around me who have been really supportive and then my mum obviously has been amazing and my sister as well I might bring that yellow uh, orange on an even smaller brush and just there. yeah just so it's a little bit more like orange I don't know so how is everyone enjoying the world right now it is amazing how quickly like you get used to this new normal and that's kind of terrifying like I've always been really scared of stuff like this um I used to be really scared of like zombie apocalypses apocalypse tie like I watched um I read World War Z and then watched The Walking Dead only some of it fucking hell what a disaster um and I don't know like I, I'm really good at scaring myself on that I'm just gonna go back into that yellow I'm losing light like I'm trying to film in daylight because I think it's a little bit more realistic right what is next do I want to put like full foundation on I don't know I don't know what to talk about now oh yeah how I'm enjoying the quarantine so oh god oh my god I nearly dropped that palette that is the colour thrown all over my little finger anyway um so for me like nothing is changing much with the quarantine and everything that's going on because I barely leave the house anyway and all of my uni is already designed to be done at home so for me it's not really made much like I feel I'm glad that it's not made much of a difference I feel a bit guilty that so many people are having to completely change their lives and I'm not um but also grateful because I am a higher risk um because I have neurological conditions so I can still go about my day and stay safe and keep other people safe I'm still using the elf putty one but it doesn't feel like putty. I don't know why people say it feels like putty because it doesn't. It feels slip unless I've got a dud one, I don't know. It feels like a balm. Let's do some concealer. I'm just gonna do it like that guy says. That is some videos I was thinking of making. It's stuff like um following other people's tutorials like professionals tutorials so like makeup geek marlena from makeup geek is doing um like quite long live classes they're like 45 minutes and um, i think they're filmed live and she's done like on different techniques and then the other person is robert oh my god i've completely forgot his name i want to say robert williams but i could be thinking of robbie williams um and it's not robbie williams i know that much but he does amazing videos on like critiquing other people's like fairly critiquing and like constructively um other people's videos and celebrities and like beauty youtubers and he is a makeup artist and it's really interesting um watching him and hearing the things he talks about and like kind of combating some of the fads and trends that are on beauty youtube kind of saying like oh i know everyone on instagram is doing this but it's not necessarily how you want to do your makeup every single day and i have been enjoying that because I do think that YouTube is so much about like products, products, products these days that when you actually get like tutorials are really, really rare and I miss them because that is how like I learn to do my makeup for better or worse. You might be thinking, well, wow, maybe you need a few more lessons and that's probably true. But yeah, I just miss it. I miss having more of that like educational aspect rather than just consumerism consumerism and i think people are getting more critical of that like with the you know um anti holes and all those kind of things people are getting more critical about buy 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 but also nobody uses products for that long so like the products i'm using today like the palette the prism palette nobody uses that like even if they really liked it when it first came out they 
stop using it in their videos very quickly to make room for like the next thing and I understand that they get you know big youtubers get huge huge amounts of PR and they want to be reviewing as much as they can but it tends to just be like a first impression and then that's it you never see it again so I was thinking of doing like a first impression with the Urban Decay palette when it when it comes I have no idea what the delivery is going to be like um I don't really know how delivery companies are operating at the moment um but if I did a first impression like I think it would be good to then do like a full review in a few weeks like I've used it for a while here is my final thoughts on it and it could be that those final thoughts do not change at all and everything you said the first time you played with it is exactly how you feel later on or it could be that you completely change your mind you just don't know and oh, it's dried a little bit here I have such dry skin around my eye despite having oily skin everywhere else Right, what we're gonna do now some god it is getting dark it is getting dark i might do the rest of my like fizzog off camera and then come back at the end where it might be actually pitch black and you'll have to hold up a davy lamp to see me i went to press record and i was like oh no it is completely dark like no one can see me but it turned out i just had the lens cap on so anyway i have put some foundation on it was a mix of the maybelline dream bb fresh which i have no idea is still available i don't think i could i could i could find it on the maybelline website but i couldn't find it in like super or boots like on their website but um it's like a basic bb cream and then i mixed that with the fenty pro something pro filter soft matte longwear foundation in for one i always want to say 420 it is not 420 it is 120 then i put Oh, did I show it? Yeah, I showed the concealer. Then I put in some highlighter um, from the Fenty Beauty um, highlighter that I have demolished with my thumb by accident. And that's in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I used a blush. Um, well, it's a Fenty highlighter as well. It's the Girl Next Door um, Sheet Freak. I used Girl Next Door as like a blush, which is that one. Then the mascara I used, which I've kind of got everywhere, you may or may not be able to see that, hopefully not. I used the Lossy London mascara in hashtag lash goals, which, as I've said, ought to be called, no, not hash goals. I used the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder foundation and just like set um, my forehead and then my cheeks very lightly. Uh, I think that was it. Mascara. Oh, lip gloss. And then I used a MAC lip gloss. It's called the Dazzle Glass Lipstick. No, Dazzle Glass oh it's just called a dazzle glass mac dazzle glass in star dreamer which is like a clear white pink you can kind of see it. it's very very like sticky and glossy um more so than the fenty ones definitely and i think that was it i just combed through my eyebrows with the revolution pro like eyebrow gel thing that's just a clear gel and i think that was it if not I will put it in the description down below um i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you did and if you would like to do those things otherwise have a lovely day um wear some sp app and don't forget to wash your hands that will do pig that will do